We're, We're back. We are here at the Pie Hole on Main Street in Evanston, Wyoming, the newest restaurant in Evanston. So excited. Yes, it is going to be so delicious. So we're going to give you a little tour, um, talk to the owners, let you know what they have to offer here, um, let you know what they've been up to, and we're even going to do a little pie tasting later. That's the best part of this yeah. whole thing. Mm -hmm. So we're pretty excited about that. All right, let's get on with it. Okay. Hello, we are here at the Pie Hole in Evanston, Wyoming on Main Street, and these are the owners. These are my people. Um, this is my brother Cameron. Hello. And his wife Kayla, and her dad Tim, and her mom Lisa. How you doing? <laughs> and they are starting this little, this business. It's not little, it's big. It's awesome. <laughs> it's very big. So, tell us a little bit about your journey to get here. Tim's always wanted to cook pies and had a business like this since he was, I don't know, for how long is it? Long time. <laughs> long time. So, uh, Kayla and I were down having lunch across the street and we saw a sign come up for selling the building. So we, we were curious, we went and talked to Tim at went to Realty and we found, you know, it was reasonably priced. So, we brought the idea up to Tim and Lisa, uh, kind of laid out a business plan and we all agreed upon it. This was earlier this year in uh, March. Mm -hmm. And things just kind of dominoed from there into being here. Uh, planning on opening on Monday. We are doing Thanksgiving pre-orders, so that's why you see the work going on back here. But uh, it's a long road to get to where we were. Um, we had to do a lot of renovations in this building, um, working with the, the fire chief to get uh, to have him sign off on everything in here. The health department, um, getting an electrical redone, uh, putting in a new freezer from the ground up, uh, insulated concrete and all that. So it's it's been a long road and we did most of the work ourselves. So that's where we are. All right, so tell us about your menu. What are you gonna have here? Um, we're having pies, pot pies, quiches, and for lunch we'll do soups and salads and sandwiches. Um, you can buy pies by the slice or a whole pie or we also have mini pies. Um, also the quiche is by the slice and um, we'll have pot pies that you can either eat or you can take home and cook yourself as well. So. And one thing about our pies is that we're going to make them fresh here in our store. Um, we get all the ingredients, put it together We'll cook it here in the store. It's not something you get frozen from a delivery company and just quickly bake. We, we do everything from scratch. So I liked what Kayla said when we were talking earlier. It looks like a pie that, you, that your grandma made. Um, might not be perfect like you get from Marie Calendars at the store, but it's going to taste fresh because it is fresh and a lot better. Yes, and along those lines, um, in the summertime, spring, summer, when we can get fresh fruit, um, we're going to go pick it up and have fresh fruit pies as well. And you have a couple of interesting pies on your menu, so tell us about those. That, like, I don't think that most people have probably had before or know about. What's that? I think this, like, sour, the sour, sour cream, cream pies. Yeah. So, what that is, is it's a lemon pie or a blueberry, and then it's topped with a, a sour cream dressing. And so you have the, the lemon tartness and then the sweetness of the cream and, and sour cream together mixed as a topping. It's one of our favorites. It's so good. The lemon. The lemon. Lemon sour cream. And there's another one, right? Lemon blueberry. blueberry. Or not lemon. Sour, sour cream, cream blueberry. blueberry. <laughs> lemon blueberry. Yep. And a lot of questions that we've been getting during the uh, Thanksgiving pre orders is. Uh, French apple. Uh, Tim, you want to explain what a French apple is versus a regular apple pie? Well, French apple is kind of like, uh, could be a take on like an apple cobbler, but it's, you know, apple baked and then it's put with a crumbled topping on top. And then 
that it's baked again to crisp up the topping, and that would be your French apple. That's personally my favorite pie. French apple? Mm -hmm. I know you have gift cards. How can people get those? So you can go to uh, the Pie Hall on Facebook. Just make sure you go to the one in Evanston, Wyoming. Um, we have a link on there for Square. You click on the link and it will take you to, it's an e-gift card, it's not a physical one. You can print off the certificate. You can, there's four options on there for a preset price, but you can also get one uh, for whatever value that you want. I think the limits are no less than 10 and no more than 500, but if you want to go that high, we'd love it. <laughs> uh, also, our link can be found on our Instagram page, which is the Pi Hole 307. Um, it, it's kind of a shared platform, so anything we post on one goes to the other. So if you don't do one or the other, it's it's there. Um, but that, that's where you can find our e-gift cards. and the, Or you can come in store and we can set up a gift card here at our register. Um, it goes to you via your email, so if you want to get it for someone else, for let's say Christmas, you can just type in their email address and it'll go right to them. Or send it to yourself and then Christmas morning you can email it to them, so it's a surprise. <laughs> um, so I've been learning a lot about opening a business through them, because I don't have any idea about it, but even, so you can find yourself on Google now, you can Google here and it shows up. On Apple yet, or not yet, Apple Maps? Not yet. Uh, we are waiting for a verification link from Apple to put it on Apple Maps. But it, we are on Google Maps. If you just search the Pi Hole, Evanston, it, they'll bring you right here. Yeah, so if you're from far away, not from Evanston, just Google it. It'll take you right here to the Pi Hole. So tell us when you're opening. So we are opening tomorrow, um, the 22nd. It'll be a soft opening. We won't have a full menu available. Uh, mainly just our pies, but we will be doing a grand opening on the 29th and we will be offering our full menu. Our hours will be Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6, and close on Sunday. And you can eat inside, though there's some spots to sit down to. Yes, we will have spots available to sit down. Um, another thing which I don't think we discussed was we will be doing uh, you can call and pre-order your pies anytime. Uh, for example, the county commissioners are ordering for an event. Um, we are open to events if you give us enough notice. So if somebody wants to call in and get lunch to go, can people do that and how can they do that? Yeah, you can. Uh, we'll be offering that. Just give us a call at 307-444-7747. Uh, we'll take down your order. It'll take about 15 to 20 minutes um, to have your uh, order processed and you come pick it up. Will you do pre-orders for Christmas or other holidays as well or different types of pies at different seasons? Yeah, we will and we'll, uh, we'll let you know what the date is when we start the pre-orders by Facebook or Instagram. So the best way to stay up to date on what you're doing is to follow you on Facebook and Instagram? Yes. And you'll have your menu on there as well, posted on there? We will have our menu posted on there, on both platforms. Okay, well, thank you for answering all of our questions. <laughs> Let's get to tasting the pies. Sounds great. Okay, we're gonna we're getting ready to try some pies. Kayla, what do we have here? We have an apple pie, a cherry pie, and a cream cheese pie with a blueberry topping. I'm so excited, I've been waiting a week for this, just so you know, and I'm a pretty tough customer, so we're gonna be really scrutinizing Okay, I'm excited. Don't okay, hard on this one. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be great. Okay, where should we start? Let's start with blueberry. Okay, so let's do uh, cream cheese, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. That crust looks great. I love a good graham cracker crust. That's a four star right there. Holy four out of four star. Right. <laughs> this is like the pie that I imagine from Friends. When Rachel oh. and Chandler eat the pie from the floor. I would eat this off the floor. <laughs> Depends on the floor. <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably eat this off the floor. Okay, That's let's good. save this one. We'll save that. You can take it home for later. Oh, good. <laughs> 
Okay, I love me some cherry pie. Okay. So, oh my gosh. It's so good. Here we go. Kind of cut my own way through the pork. Maybe should have gone next to each other in the pies. Okay, you're going cherry. I think mm. the bottom crust. Mm. Perfect amount of tart. That's really good. That's some spicy. Buttery. Delicious. Okay, too. Hey, that one was delish. Okay, I'm going to go with the other one. And this one is not peach. Not peach. Okay. I thought it was peach. Probably the best kind of thing. Yeah. My very mm -hmm. favorite is the mm -hmm. I say, say thumbs up to every one of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm pretty picky about my pies. I wanted to bring these for Thanksgiving dinner. I was like, I'll bring the pies that they make. <laughs> So yeah, if you're invited to Thanksgiving dinner, you're supposed to bring something, come over to the pie hole, and bring homemade pie that you didn't have to homemade make. Yeah, they and make. everyone will yeah. think you made it. Exactly. Because it looks like you did, but yes. they did. And it tastes like you did. Yeah, and they'll be like, oh my gosh. Well, it doesn't taste like you did. <laughs> <laughs> it does not taste like I did, that is for sure. I'm just gonna get that giveaway. <laughs> I'll be like, you did not make this. Fine, it came from the pie hole. So, I don't have gluten intolerance at all, but a lot of people do. I've heard that that's something that might be coming up on the menu at some point. Yes, we've had a lot of people ask us if we're doing a yeah. crust, which we are working on. We just haven't quite done it yet, but in the future. Yes. That's great. So yeah. keep checking with our Facebook page. Yes. Because when that comes out, it'll, it'll be there. And we've also received requests for sugar-free pies, and we were able to make those for Thanksgiving as well. So oh, that is so great. We do have some sugar-free options that we have, and we're looking into as well. That's wonderful. So we're going to finish up our pies over here, and then we'll give you a little behind-the-scenes tour of this place, and you can see how fresh everything really is. Okay, so we have to put an A on this pie because this was an apple. And if you don't mark it before you fix it, finish it, then you don't know what it is because it's closed up. See, it's apple. How many pies can you guys bake in these ovens at one time? Uh, so we can put five, <coughs> excuse me, five pies on each rack in here, and there's one, two, three, four, so 20 pies in each oven that we have at a time. All right, thanks for letting us come down and check out the pie hole, taste your pies, and get a tour. No, thank you guys for coming. It was a pleasure having you here, and remember, come get your pie hole filled in Evanston. <laughs>